Hi everybody, it's Dara. And I just wanted to say hi and tell you that I haven't forgotten about making videos, food videos. I've been in a bit of a different mode trying to communicate via writing and doing some things. Um, that's Facebook. I've got Facebook going. I've got more with Dara live chats going. Um, it's so much fun. And I've been doing a lot more stuff on the computer. And it definitely, I also realized that when I upped the camera, I did upgrade on the camera and the sound and all that, it takes a little longer to make to set up to make videos and I miss the days where I used to just put on the flip video camera. So this video is in honor of actually that process where you just turn on the camera and you hope that something good comes to you to say and usually it does because when inspiration flies by you've got to just grab it and there's a little Roxy. Hi sweetie. Um, so today I am up to juices. I want to introduce Rejuice. They are on 32nd and Pico in Los Angeles and they've delivered to me and it's just gorgeous. This one has kale and apple in it and some of them I get without the apple, the greens and um, amazing juices. I get carrot, apple, ginger and the green juices. They're G1 and G3 are my favorites. This is G1 I think, yeah. Anyway, so that's a beautiful cold press delivered in glass bottles. I'm just delighted. So thank you, Ron, for your juices. And I am also have a tonic in front of me too. I'm doing liquids because after a lot of um, raw food restaurant eating, you go out to eat and you start to eat a little bit less uh, clean than you would on your own. Like I'm kind of missing my zucchini when I make the zucchini and then I put a little bit of olive oil, a little nutritional yeast and I put in a little bit of salt and then I even throw in some salad leaves in there and just make this big bowl of a very hydrating leafy green zucchini dish and that's so satisfying and it doesn't have a lot of fat so usually when you go to the raw food restaurants they're delicious but they're they're just um, they have a little you usually end up ordering something decadent more decadent and so now I am just juicing and smoothieing it's called my liquids only plan for a little while just to get a little bit lighter, a little lighter energy. I eat such a clean diet, but even sometimes when you eat, you know, a, an all raw diet and it tends sometimes to get a little nutty or a little more fats than the way to lighten, lighten it up for your digestive system is to have smoothies and then have soups and have juices and eventually you just want mostly juices and if that's the road you're going then you're on a juicing cleanse and that's fun. I never really tell myself, okay, now I have to go on a cleanse. I'll say, well, I'm just going to have a lot of juices and they take up the day and if I want to have a salad at night, I do that. If I want to have a smoothie at night or a soup at night, I do that as well. So that's what I'm up to today. Um, and I just really want to encourage you to spread the message that not only um, is it raw food, raw food is important, raw food is the beginning, raw food is the way to detoxify, clean up our cells, clean up our lymph system, clean up our organs so that our eyes are white and our skin is clear and everything feels moving, the chi is moving in our bodies and then we can start to feel clear enough to have really clear thoughts about um, new creative ideas and inspiration comes to us. We're able to listen to our guts better and listen to our um, minds and our hearts. And if we're clogged up, we're not getting the messages. So I think it's really important to clean up first. But what's been clear to me after three years of making raw food videos is that it's really not just about the food because I end up talking about so much more. I end up talking about decluttering our homes to support ourselves, to support our clean bodies. Because as within, so without, if our homes are cluttered, we're gonna feel cluttered. Our things speak to us whether we're listening or not. So if there's stuff stuck on the floor and the broom can't get there, the chi can't move, the energy can't move, and we're gonna be reminded that there's just stuff around. So if you go to sit down and write something creative, the stuff is kinda gonna get in your way. And 
a big thing that I've been talking about for the past three years is decluttering our homes. And I've gone so far as to call it extreme sport decluttering because what happens is, is that we can do a little bit at a time. And I've done a little bit at a time over the past two and a half years. And then I'll have certain days, two, three days in a row where it's extreme sport, where I feel this incredible urge to go in deeper, to go deep so that it's not dragging out over a long period of time. And then I do as far as I can go and I have to stop for a while. And it's no different than detoxifying because we couldn't detoxify all at once. We can't go from eating cheeseburgers to just eating oranges. We've got to slow ourselves into it. Then we can get into a cleanse and then we stop our cleanse and we kind of eat a little bit and then we go deeper. So the decluttering is the same thing, you know, with... Um, and there's so many fun things about it. When you start to declutter, you start to notice where other people's energy is in your surroundings. You might be holding on to a thing or you might even find a journal or a piece of paper or something that reminds you of someone that you needed to let go of. So that's where we talk about relationships and perhaps love remains, but they, the, the, the form changes, the friendship changes, the love um, relationship, the romantic relationship changes forms. The love can remain, but perhaps it's time to let the energy go so that something else can come in that you may not even see. So we let go of the bad food to welcome in the really good nutrients. We let go of the bad things to hanging around our home, the things that make us feel sad or they're broken or they, you know, they need to be fixed or they're making us feel poor or whatever they're doing. The energy of something might feel heavy. We let it go and we welcome in something brighter or nothing at all. We welcome in the space to breathe, to open up a cabinet and see an empty shelf or see a drawer that kind of looks refreshing. Stuffed can make us feel stuffed. Stuffed relates to our bodies. When we let go of things, we become lighter emotionally, spiritually, and even physically. Our bodies start to shed weight or shed toxins that don't need to be there anymore. It completely is parallel. You find when you go on a cleanse, you just can't tolerate a cluttered home. And when you start cluttering, decluttering your home, you really just don't, you start to not want to eat as much. You start wanting to get cleaner. So when you start to physically feel better, you start to notice things that you had that you didn't know that you had. You know, ailments go away that you didn't even realize that you had. When you start to declutter your home, things start to appear that you didn't know you were holding on to. You open up a, a pad of paper and in there is a note about somebody that, wow, I didn't know they were hanging around. I didn't know their energy was hanging around. Aha, let's let it go. Let's let it go. And you eventually get to this place of peace. Now, it is never, it's, it's an ongoing thing. Things come into our homes. We welcome in things. And we need to be able to look with feng shui eyes, brand new eyes, and open up and say, what just made its way into my space? We do it subconsciously. We let things come into our space and go, aha, I'm going to let that out again. And we're changing every single day. Our bodies are changing. Our cells are renewing themselves. So of course our desires, why should we be living with the same things and the same exact furniture arrangement and the same everything when everything's changing anyway all the time? So the key, I think, to having this happy, open life with magical, new, serendipitous things come in, opportunities, is to stay current. Stay current in our bodies, stay current in our homes, Stay current in being willing to let relationships change form. And magic does happen. We have a sparkly life if we're willing to let go. So it's not only what we put in our bodies, it's what we let go of as well. It's not only what we put in our homes like the pretty flowers, it's what we let go of as well. And we have this just incredible space. So to me, it's about letting go of things to welcome in the peace. And that would be my note for today. I guess that's why I turned on the camera. I'm so happy and delighted to remember to make these spontaneous videos. Um, so that's it. Get your greens on and I will see you guys really soon.